Should you get Mizuki? Short answer, yes. Long answer. This entire video. Ah, Doctor, konnichiwa. Kore o suikon de shouka sreba in de shou? Ganmaru yo. Mizuki is a six star stalker specialist from Higashi. A boy with the unique abilities. Made contact with some of our operators back in Dozo Less. That is temporarily permitted to board and assist Rhodes Island. Mizuki is a six star that will be released beside limited six star Chin Altar. And according to some reliable sources, have a really soft armpits. Mizuki is a stalker specialist. Meaning that he will attack all enemies in his range. Have 50% physical and arts evasion. And is less likely to be targeted by enemies, regardless of the deployment order. When compared with other stalker, Mizuki feels like the mix of other stalker operator. Which have a decent DPS and crowd control ability. As for his general stats. Have a solid defense and resistance. Have quite a long attack speed that is 3.5 seconds. And have the biggest attack among other stalker. Moving to the talents. Mizuki first talent will deal additional arts damage, equal to 50% of attack at E2. And prioritize dealing it to the target with the lowest HP. This first talent is a unique way to do a mixed damage to enemies. But the arts damage from the basic attack is not amazing. So use a more reliable arts dealer to deal with tough defense enemies. As for his second talent. When there is an enemy with less than 50% HP in range. Increase Mizuki attack by 10%. It should be an easy talent to trigger, especially with the help of others. But the attack boost he get from this talent is not really massive. Definitely not a game changer talent after E2, but an acceptable one. And then this is Mizuki Potentials Upgrade. Much like other operators, he's fine even without one. And currently Mizuki doesn't have a module upgrade. And then moving to his skills. His first skill. The next attack will deal increased damage, and increased talent 1 damage multiplier. Have a short skill duration at M3, and luckily can hold charges. The best skill for constant DPS. Mizuki has a big physical damage at max level, and can attack multiple targets. The talent multiplier can make Mizuki deal 150% arts damage at M3. So needless to say it's a good pick to mastery. But I won't recommend you to mastery this skill just yet. Considering there are better options for a DPS unit. But at least if you want to use Mizuki S1, train it to mastery 1. To increase the skill charges number. And then his skill 2. We're entering Mizuki crowd control skills. This one will reduce his attack interval to exactly 2 seconds at M3. Increase his attack. Talent 1 can target one additional enemy, and inflict bind to them for a second. This skill has a great uptime with also a low SP cost. The main usage of this skill is of course the bind effect. Keep in mind that Mizuki can only bind to enemies. Which is a massive limitation when compared with other operators that inflict bind. Ethan, with the same archetype, he can bind all of the enemies in his range. But unlike Mizuki, Ethan bind effect is RNG. And when compared to Megalan, Megalan sure is much more versatile with her drone skill 1. But she also has her drawback from her drone, and a tricky skill to use. So I think this skill 2 of Mizuki is not bad. If he's not dealing with multiple enemies at once, he can constantly bind his two targets. If you like your Mizuki to become a crowd control unit, you can M3 this skill. Moving to his third skill. Expand range, increase attack, talent 1 will target 2 additional enemies. And inflict stun to them for 1 second. Additionally, if attacks less than 3 enemies, Mizuki lose some percentage of HP. A great burst skill if I must say, and the expanded attack range is a good addition. The stun is also not bad. But with his long attack time, Mizuki will not stun those enemies constantly. And for stalling skill, I think I prefer rest too much more. 
since bind can be inflicted to almost any target, and Mizuki can inflict them constantly. Also another problem of this skill 3, is that it has an expensive SP cost. And Mizuki will lose some percentage of HP, when he's attacking less than 3 enemies. But thankfully the latter is easy to avoid if you have a healer. I don't recommend to mastery this one. If you wanted to make Mizuki into a DPS unit, just use his skill 1. Or skill 2 to make him into a crowd control unit. As for his base skills. For every standardization type skill in the same factory. Increase production by 5%. And skill 2 is an standardization skill that will increase productivity by 25%. Some operators with standardization skill include, Stuart, Jessica and Vanilla. So, will Mizuki become a good operator for your team? Mizuki is hypergriff results when they are trying to mix all other stalker into one. But sadly with too many limitations, and doesn't offer a new role or niche. It irritates me how Bikinichin doesn't seem to have a drawback. While Mizuki has a tons of it. If you manage to get him. He's not really a priority to invest. Or at least not to elite to immediately. But regardless, since Mizuki will be featured in a powerful and limited banner. And also has a gorgeous C2 splash art. It's a good idea to spend your resources in that banner. So grab your Orundum, we got Rimuru Tempest to gacha. And remember, cute is justice. That should be all. Adios.